Okay, guys. This is again about the reverse flyback voltage or the reverse flyback of a pulse. Okay, you DC pulse a coil, forward pulse. You're forward pulsing a coil. Okay, you have rotors on a magnet. Rotors, they, the magnet rotor lands over the electromagnet core. You forward pulse the electromagnetic core to break the connection of the rotor magnet so the wheel keeps spinning. There is free energy in the rotor magnet coming towards the core of the electromagnet. That is free magnetic attraction to iron. As we all know, the core of an electromagnet is iron. So once the magnet reaches the core of the iron and then sends flux to the trigger winding, which then sends voltage to the base of the transistor, which then closes the gate, and allows your battery voltage to enter the drive winding and then energize the core and make it into a magnet and then create a north field at the point where the magnet, the rotor magnet meets the core of the electromagnet. Now this video is called a very well-known term in the science community. This video is called for every action there is an equal opposite reaction. That term, although it may presumably have come from Einstein or someone else, I'm not sure who, but I don't think they said it came from Tesla. But looking at the phrase, for every action there is an equal opposite reaction, it tells me that whoever created that phrase was aware of the opposite polarity that occurs when you create a forward polarity into an inductor. Sounds like someone we know is Tesla. So quite frankly, I think he's the one who came up with that term. For every reaction, there is an opposite equal reaction. So, if you energize a electromagnet with a forward DC pulse of 12 volts forward, and then a flyback pulse happens in reverse, although it's not 12 volts, it's up in the hundreds of volts range, and it may not be 12 volts, 100 milliamps, which you may have given the inductor it's probably hundreds of volts down in the micro nano amps but has anyone ever done the math you know on that to see if the you know you drop the voltage does your amps go up well of course it does that's ohm's law but that's another topic this is about for every action there's an equal opposite reaction now the opposite reaction here is the reverse flyback. Now the equal, the, the, for every action, the action we take is the forward action. That's what we can offer the world as far as energy is going. Forward energy. Um, and we do this by providing positive voltage to an inductor. When you remove the positive voltage to the inductor, in comes the reverse opposite equal um sorry my bad sorry doing the live stream yep hazardous opposite equal reaction okay um that would be the reverse flyback it's we haven't proven that it's an opposite equal reaction meaning are you getting the same energy in reverse as you put in forward well we kind of did prove that with the Bedini SG didn't we and, and the two batteries uh, you know uh, experiment we kind of did at the very least prove something close to if not a hundred percent efficiency okay because I mean I did it I've seen it happen I've seen a, you know, the flyback dump into the battery. Meanwhile, your forward DC pulse is 
pushing the magnet along. So you're using energy to push the magnet along, but the flyback that occurs after you're done using your energy, you know, that occurs on the off cycle, is going into the other battery. So you're kind of like, instead of dumping it to ground to spin the wheel, you're dumping it into another battery, which makes perfect sense. So if the flyback, it, you know, we already know the flyback is the opposite reverse polarity. So if Tesla came up with that phrase, for every action there is an equal opposite reaction. I think I know what he was referring to when he mentioned the word opposite, meaning the inverse polarity. So once again, Houdini or a pulse motor, whatever pulse motor you're doing, you're you're energizing your electromagnet with what? Forward voltage. Positive forward voltage. And what's coming back is reverse voltage. Now that reverse voltage it happens on the inductor, you know, the, the side that you gave the inductor positive becomes a negative during the reverse voltage spike and the other side of that same coil becomes a positive whereas before it was a negative when you gave it forward voltage so even though it's reverse opposite equal reaction that opposite still has two poles a positive and a negative now it comes down to whether or not the opposite reaction is an equal reaction in terms of energy and I think a lot of these devices have overproven that such as the Don Smith device you know putting in 50 watts getting out 300 or so I mean you only had to get put in 50 to get out 50 to prove what I'm talking about right now so this video is about the term every action there's an opposite equal reaction and its relationship to what I call the reverse flyback or what we all call the reverse flyback or the opposite equal reaction all right over up